Have you ever wanted to stop time? I've here and in this video I will teach you how to do that in Godot. So here we are in Godot. And as usual, let me first introduce you what we already have. So here is the level, it's a node 2D scene, and it just has a bunch of rigid bodies and an animated progress bar. They will help us understand what's happening, and that's it. Before we start adding the pause, let's first add the key that will be responsible for that. Go to project, project settings, input map, and add an action, let's call it menu pause. And set the key to, and set it to whichever key you like, I'll set it to escape. Ok, close, and save. Now, create a new node, it's gonna be a plain node, rename it to pause controller, save it, add a script to that. And now let's think, what do we need? All we really need is a method for pausing the game and for resuming it. Here we go. And well, that's basically it. And thanks to Godot, all we really need is to change one variable. Every node tree has a variable called paused. And as the name suggests, it means that the game paused or not. So all we really do is changing this boolean variable to true or false. And for the functionality that's it, that's what we really need. But let's expand it a little bit. So first things first, let's add a variable called can toggle pause and let's use it. You might need it, you might not, but in case if you do, you have this variable, right? And now let's also add the functionality that we'll call the pause or resume method. So function process here, if this action menu pause was pressed, then depending on the current status of the tree, we either pause it or resume it. So let's save it. Now in the level, add it to the scene and let's just move it a little bit higher in the hierarchy. It doesn't really change much, but it's a nice thing to have. And now let's launch the game and check. I press escape and I press escape again, but nothing happened. Why? So there is another thing you must know about pause in Godot. By default, all things stop when the game is paused. This property called pause mode that every node has, it defines whether this node stops or continue working when the game is paused. And now in order to let our pause controller work even when the whole game is paused, we need to set this pause mode to process. Now save it and check the game again. I press escape and I press escape again. Escape and again. So it does work as you can see. And well, that's it. Game pause is very versatile and can be used for more than just the pause menu interface. It can just as well be a game mechanic or even a great visual effect. Here's an example from Lambeer's talk on game feel, where he suggests to make a brief pause upon the impact of a bullet. But what it does, it, it just pauses the game for a couple of milliseconds and I use that in moments of impact. So when I hit an enemy, it will pause for 20 milliseconds or something and your brain won't notice that, but kind of use that time to process what's happening a bit more. So. And that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Like, share, subscribe. It was Ives and until next time.